Hey guys, this is Oxy Trains coming at you with another update video because I finally have gotten my B4 ready to go. Um, I had uh, this guy at the track uh, two weekends ago had sold me an LRP 8.5 motor with the LRP Float ESC for a hundred dollars. So I was like, yes, give me, throw the money at him. So I had got it and I was like, hmm, what do I put it in? So I was like, oh my gosh, I still had that B4 roller. So I had a uh, I put it in here. So let me take the cover off and um, look at everything you got here. I cannot believe I got the ESC for $100 and the motor. So that is a heck of a deal. That's why I always go to racetracks because you can always get really good deals from people. Um, everything's pretty much stock really. But I do have, front, I do have the hexes running front and rear. But in the front, I have the aluminum hex from J Concepts and the um, 12 millimeter hex conversion from him, and it works really well. I recommend that um, stock servo from all the you know Team Associate stuff. It's really slow, but it works, so it doesn't matter. Um, battery strap, yes, it is a rubber band, but it also works, so it saves me twenty five dollars, and it's a whole lot less heavy compared to the other guys so um, always gotta remember that and no more Deans I'm doing just straight in bullet plugs which is really good for racing because people say that the Deans can internally mess themselves up and I do not want to have that so this car is ready to go. I'm going to be racing it at SNB in uh, South Carolina in Pedmont, and you can look up their Facebook. It's called SNB um, RC Speedway. And um, oh dang, my neck strap. It's uh, it's the biggest track in the East Coast. They've even signed up to have a roar race there. So hopefully they'll have a war race because I've never been to a big race. And even if I don't get to race there, I still would like to go and just watch because that'd be awesome. We always have people traveling down to come race with us. You can look them up. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you want to look at it. You know, we always have people from Georgia and Tennessee coming and just racing with us for the whole um, day. It's really fun. You guys should definitely come. And, um... I'll definitely be racing this hopefully this weekend or the next whenever my dad lets me because he's my uh, pit crew chief so he's really strict about my racing because he wants me to win and become sponsored one day. So let me put the cover back on this little dude. Um, hold on, let me get it. You have to use two hands because of the velcro. Slam it down. There she is. Doesn't she look good? Bought the roller for uh, forty-seven dollars with free shipping, or maybe that was with the shipping. That's how much I paid. So I've had, I've got like two hundred dollars total into this because let me think. The motor ESC was a hundred dollars. Yeah, about two hundred. So that's a heck of a deal for a ready to race RTR. So um, it just looks awesome. I just like to stare at it. Um, if you guys want to know more about the buggy, like my setup or whatever, just ask. And also, I have gotten another uh, SC10 4x4. Yes, I am spoiled, and my parents can't say no to me. So, yes, this is the new SC10 4x4. So now I have two of them. So I got one to sell. Hopefully I'll sell it this weekend. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm very attached to my cars. They're like my little kids, my family. I don't like to give them away. Even if they just sit in a case for years, I'll be like, I love that car. So um, I got this for $250 RTR with a Spectrum remote, high-tech, high-torque servo, Castle, you know, SCT combo. 3800 kV four pole 
with the ESC, but the ESC did have a problem. It didn't have a fan in it, and every time I'd go to race it, it would overheat and shut down. So I was like, hmm, how do we solve this problem? Well, I took the actual fan from my uh, Jammin, as you guys might know. That was my first uh, 4x4. I have two of them on there because, you know, why not? So um, I actually took the fan off of it, put it on here, keeps the temps down like 20 degrees, so the ESC doesn't cut off anymore. So it's really good. It fits perfectly on top of the ESC. I don't know if that was like how they, you know, molded it, but the sides work perfectly fine. So, um, what else? Um, there is a couple upgrades. Uh, you got these DE Racing mud flaps. So when these front tires kick up, it doesn't get all up on here in the rear, you know, drivetrain. Um, aluminum hexes all the way around uh, and a couple blue parts um i've kind of got this car dirty i need to clean it but i'm just too lazy because it's such a rough car um it's just ready to go non-stop so i need to clean up you know the cables with them but eh, it doesn't really matter because they work so i can't be bothered to actually clean it up when i'm have to take it apart and clean it eventually so, um, the motor on this is so OP, just like my, uh, Jammin', that it blows up these tires so aggressively. It's like, I feel like I can't do full throttle because I'm going to blow them up, you know, like, you know, balloon them so much they rip apart. But they actually work really good. So, thanks you guys for new subscribers and continuing to subscribe. I will make a lot more videos this summer because... You know, I wouldn't be in RC for this long if it wasn't for you guys encouraging me. And I'll leave a description for my Instagram, my Twitter, um, SMB.com, and their Facebook. Um, and what else? That's about it. If you want to see any of the other cars, I'll gladly show you them. I really don't mind at all. It gives me something to do. And don't forget, I had bought this battery. And the one inside of the um, B4 used on eBay for $26. It was really good. These both these batteries both work perfectly fine. So if you want to save like $20 to $30, even more on eBay buying used because those batteries were like $60 each brand new. So if you guys ever want to just save some bucks, get used. That's what I do. I love buying used stuff because if it still works, I'm not like in the hole like a lot of people so it saves money for other parts so if you guys want any more questions about these guys or any of my other cars I have 11 cars yes I do 11 cars ready to race whenever I want them to but these are my main cars right here my SC10 4x4 and my B4.2 two-wheel drive and that's it so if you guys need anything else just comment like and subscribe Thank you for watching my video, and have a lovely day. RC on, guys.